Let us look into the matrix multiplication program. The main purpose of this program is to read two matrices that is matrix A which is of the order M cross N and matrix B of the order P cross Q respectively and compute the product A and B. The input for this matrix multiplication program R it reads the matrix A in row major order and the matrix B in column major order. The output of this program is to print both the input matrices and also the resultant matrices with suitable headings and we have to print in the matrix format. And also we have to take care to check for the compatibility of the orders of the matrices for multiplication. Now, let us look into the logic behind this program. Now, let us look into the logic behind the matrix multiplication program. Before entering into the logic, we need to consider one of the very important concepts in C known as 2D arrays, which stands for two dimensional arrays. The two dimensional arrays are similar to one dimensional arrays except the fact that they have one more dimension and the syntax for the same is explained as follows. Data type followed by the array name with two sizes indicating these arrays are the two dimensional arrays. An example for the same is int which is nothing but the data type followed by a the array name and two sizes. Hence 2D arrays are very much used to represent matrices. Since we are considering matrix multiplication, we require this 2D arrays. Now, let us take an example of a matrix mat A, which is in the order of 2 cross 2. Here, the order is nothing but total number of rows to that of total number of columns. They are represented using a variable m and m. The total number of elements inside a 2 cross 2 matrix is, is always 4. They are 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the 4 elements which are inside the 2 cross 2 matrix A. Similarly, one more matrix, matrix B which is of the order 2 cross 2 with a generalized order structure known as P cross Q. Here also we can see that there are totally 4 elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. The main idea behind this program is to compute matrix A multiplied with matrix B and show the result in one more matrix C. Before actually multiplying, let us check how exactly to multiply. Here. Since matrix A and matrix B are element by element representation, we need to perform the multiplication also element by element. See here we can see that the order of matrix A is M cross N and the order of matrix B is P cross Q. Two matrices are said to be multiplication compatible if and only if the condition N equals P is true. That is the total number of columns in matrix A must always be equal to total number of rows in matrix B. If this condition holds good, then only we can say that matrix multiplication is possible. Else matrix multiplication is not possible. After the condition is verified, we need to check how exactly the multiplication occurs. The multiplication takes place from the first row multiplied with first column of the second matrix and that result will be stored in the element by element position. For example, here as we can see the first row of matrix A is 1 and 2. Matrix B is the first column of matrix B is 1 and 3. The multiplication is 1 into 1 plus 2 into 3 which is equal to the value 7 the very first element in matrix C. 
and also we can see that the resultant matrix will always be in the form of m cross q. With the same logic behind us, let us look into the actual C programming for our explanation of this program. With the logic of the matrix multiplication explained, now let us look into the actual program of the same. The very first line indicates that hash include stdio.h which stands for a preprocessor directive along with standard input output header file. Similarly, the next line involves a preprocessor directive along with console input output header file. Next line what we have is the main function from which our program starts to execute. Inside the main function we can have the declaration part in the very first line. Here all the data variables are of the data type integer. We can see that the very first variable is a of 5 and 5 which indicates that the a is a variable which is of two dimensional array in data type. Similarly, b and c are also those two dimensional arrays. This is because an input variables are a and b which are two dimensional arrays and the multiplication of them results in one more two dimensional array. Hence, we have c an array which is of two dimensional in nature. Along with we have other variables such as m, n, p, q, i, j and k where m and n represents order of the matrix A. Similarly, p and q represents order of the matrix B. i, j are the i, j and k are the intermediate variables. Next line we have is the clear screen which is used to clear the output screen. Now the very first line is to enter the size or the order of the first matrix that is matrix A. In scanf we can see that the order consists of two variables m and n hence there are two format specifiers and two variables and their memory allocations that is ampersand m and ampersand n. Similarly, the same thing for enter the size of the second matrix and we are inserting the values to p and q are the variables which holds the order of the second matrix. Now, as we discussed the very first important thing in matrix multiplication is to check for their compatibility. If the column of first matrix are equal to the row of the second matrix, then we say that matrix are compatible for multiplication. Hence, we are checking the same in our program. This if n equals p checks for that given condition. If this condition holds good, then only we can multiply those matrix. Hence, in the very first statement, it indicates enter the elements of matrix matrix A or the first matrix. Since the elements what we are inserting into a two dimensional arrays are one by one, so we are using for a nested for loop. That is a for loop inside an another for loop where uh, we have hence we have two for loops that is first for loop indicates i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus which denotes the row value followed by second for loop for of j is equal to 0, j less than n, j plus plus which indicates the column value. In this kind of statement we have ampersand of a of i j where each and every element will be inserted one after the other for a first matrix. Similarly, for the second matrix also the same thing holds good except the fact that the row value is decided by p and the column value is decided by 
q and the rest are the same as that of the first matrix. Now, we need to multiply those two matrices. They are for of i is equal to 0, i less than m, i plus plus. For of j is equal to 0, j less than q, j plus plus. C of ij is initialized to 0. Before multiplying, we are initializing the given two dimensional array for 0. Next, we have one more intermediate variable k which does the multiplication and addition of row and column element by element. That variable k is initialized to 0 which is less than n and incremented by 1. The final logic behind this matrix multiplication is the new value of c of ij is equal to the old value of c of ij plus a of ik into b of kj where k is a common element for the matrix multiplication. Next, finally, we need to print the product of the computed multiplication matrix. Hence, we have as we know the resultant matrix will be in the form of m cross q. We need to, since we have inserted the values element by element, we need to display the output also element by element. Hence, we have two for loops. The first for loop is for row value, the second for loop is for column value. Hence, we are printing element by element using a format specifier percentage %d and c of ij. See, we can note that we have printf slash n after the element value after the closing of the braces which indicates that we are representing or we are displaying the elements in a matrix form. This is the main logic and the program for matrix multiplication. As we know that in the very first statement we checked for matrix compatibility that is number of columns in the first matrix should always be equal to number of rows in the second matrix. If that condition fails, then we need to print suitable headings known as matrix multiplication is not possible. Since we have declared our main function using integer data type, we have written 0 at the end. To compile a program, we involve the keys alt f9. If any errors or warnings are there, it would have been displayed. Since there are no errors or warnings, the value are zeros. Now, let us compile using control F9. Now, it is asking to enter the size of first matrix. Here, size is same as order. We need to enter the size. For example, I will enter the value as 2 and 2, where first 2 indicates the row value second 2 indicates the column value that is for the first matrix the value is m cross n. Similarly, for the second matrix also it is asking us to enter the order. Here also I will enter the values as 2 and 2. It indicates that the first value 2 indicates the row of the second matrix that is p followed by second 2 indicates column of the second matrix Q. Now, since we can see here that the number of columns in first matrix are equal to number of rows in second matrix, the matrix are compatible. Hence, it is asking us to enter the elements of first matrix. Since the order of the first matrix is 2 cross 2, we need to enter 4 elements. The 4 elements are 1, 2, 3 and 4. Enter the elements of second matrix. Since the order of second matrix is also 2 and 2, we need to enter again 4 elements. Here I will take the same 4 elements of the matrix 1, 2, 3 and 4. See, we can clearly see that the matrix A is represented in matrix form that is 1, 2, 3 and 4 
Similarly, the matrix B is also represented in the same matrix form. Finally, the product of two matrices which is once again a matrix C represented in matrix form of the order 2 cross 2. This is the end of the program. This was the output for a mat two matrices which are compatible for multiplication. Now, let us look into another two matrices say where the matrix multiplication condition fails. For that, we will execute or we will run the program enter the size of matrix. Here I am entering the values of m and n say 2 and 3 are the values of m and n and I will enter the size of second matrix say P and Q as 2 and 3. Here we can clearly note that the value of n is not equal to the value of P. Hence we can conclude that the matrices are not multiplication. Hence we can see the result final result as the matrix multiplication is not possible. This completes a C program on matrix multiplication.